Hey everybody, Rocco Despirito here. Listen, I make a Negroni that's a lot like a martini that people are kind of curious about. So I thought I'd show you how to make it. It's not difficult. It's a lot stronger than a regular Negroni, so be prepared. So here's my gentrified adult Negroni. You need sweet vermouth of any kind, any brand. I happen to like these. You need a dry gin, like a Tanqueray or a Plymouth or a Ford, which is a little bit more uh, aromatic and botanical. And then I like to use Aperol instead of Campari because I find the Aperol has um, a better balance of sweetness for this level of Negroni. Most people find the Negroni a little bit bitter because Campari is a bitter, delicious bitter orange drink. But Aperol for me works better, especially around summertime when you want something a little less heavy, a little less syrupy. So let me show you how to make it. It's equal parts vermouth, Aperol, and then three parts gin. Two parts if you're not feeling so brave. So here's what you do. You get a glass beaker, or in my case, I happen to only have this measuring cup. You fill it up with ice. Then you start to add your booze. We're gonna start with the Aperol. One ounce of Aperol, or two tablespoons as my measuring spoon says. I don't have a jigger, but in a jigger, there would be lines that would tell you how much Aperol to put in. Okay. Next, we add our sweet vermouth. I happen to like this Antica formula from Carpano. You can use Cocchi Rosso, Cocchi Bianco. Uh, you can use this Berto stuff. You can use Martini and Rossi. Makes awesome vermouth, of course. One part sweet vermouth. Now, this is very true to the original recipe at this point. Here's where I go astray a little bit. So, for me, at the end of the day, I really like a martini, but as summer comes on, I like a drink that's just a little more floral, a little sweeter than a harsh martini. So I've come up with this drink. So now instead of one part gin, I'm going to do two parts gin for the brave ones and three parts for the crazy ones. Uh, I'm gonna include myself in that group, three parts Ford's gin in this case. Uh, I also like to add a little bit of orange bitters because once you remove the Campari, you need to replace the bitterness with something and these Regan orange bitters do the trick. Good couple of dashes, as my friend Angus would say. Now, you wanna prepare the glass because we're gonna strain this. The glass should be, I'll use this, this glass. Normally this goes in a rocks glass, but because I'm trying to blend the style of a Negroni and a cocktail, we're gonna use a fancier glass. And I'm gonna put a big piece of orange in there. Now, when you do orange peel, it's okay if there's some fruit attached. That juice is gonna make the drink taste delicious. Here's where the oils are concentrated, and this is where the juice is concentrated. It's, it's okay to have both. All right, now we stir for 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is where you are both mixing and chilling the drink. Why 30 seconds? Because that's the uh, legend of the Negroni. 32 stirs or 30 seconds of stirring is the appropriate amount to dilute it just enough with the water from the ice and to blend all the aromatics. There's complicated aromatics in this drink. Uh, Aperol has dozens of botanicals. Gin has dozens of botanicals. Vermouth has dozens of botanicals. So you wanna make sure they're mixed well. Now, taste your drink. This is where you make adjustments. See what I did there? I put my straw inside the drink. I put my finger on the other side. I trapped what was, whatever was in the straw and I tasted it. For me, it's perfect. If it is too sweet at this point, you could add a little more Aperol or gin. If it's too dry, meaning not sweet enough, you could add a little more vermouth. So I'm gonna say it's a little dry. I'm gonna add a drop of vermouth and that should fix it for me. Cause I think I added a drop too many bitters. All right, so I prepared the glass. I'm going to squeeze the oils into the glass, do the rim thing, looks cool. Definitely definitely does something to each sip. And then I'm gonna sort of use a strainer that would normally be used on a shaker to strain this drink onto fresh ice. Now you can see it's not thick and syrupy. It's also super beautiful, translucent. And that should tell you that the drink isn't as sweet and thick and syrupy as a normal Negroni. 
but isn't quite as strong as a traditional martini. Let's taste it. Is your mouth watering? Should be. That is peace in a glass. Enjoy it.